In a rally in Nusuri yesterday, Aya said KU made some comments saying that parties like People's Alliance are going to the Itoke community and saying that the Fiji First will take away their Itoke land and there's too many people in other, other ethnic groups and not giving, uh, talking about policies. There are comments also made about uh, the Itoke land issue and about that party, some parties are going and talking about freehold land that uh, your freehold land will be converted to Itoke land. Uh, Mr. Bainimarama says if uh, this, this is being said by the people and if people start uh, listening to that, then there will be anarchy. There will be, uh, he said, there will be murders. There will be people who will get badly hurt. Is People's Alliance involved in any of that what's been claimed? Well, if uh, Bainimarama thinks that uh, it will result in murder, maybe that's the only solution. He knows. Uh, people must understand that uh, freehold land titles are sacrosanct. You cannot alienate freehold land titles. Uh, that is part of the inherited laws that we have inherited from the British. Uh, when the land issue was brought up in Fiji, we have lived with a, a hybrid system of custom and tradition systems for the native landowners, as well as uh, British common law uh, on the scheduling of land and ownership of land. So uh, those that say that and those that believe the people who say that are also very, very ill-informed. So there's no attempts by People's Alliance whatsoever in any meetings where what is being claimed by the Fiji First in a rally is being done on the ground? As far as I know, all the meetings I have attended and, uh, and I have encouraged my members to shy away from that. We cannot say that because it's the wrong thing to do, wrong thing to say, and it cannot be done. Uh, titles uh, cannot be alienated. That is, uh, that is a rule everywhere. Mr. Rambuka, what is your stand on Itoke land, knowing that more than 90% is Itoke land in Fiji? and cannot be sold as stated in the 2013 Constitution. That is correct. As I said in Fijian, and on the two in the Sangan Lewa, it is ours, but we have no control over it. Why do you say that? Because that's the way it is. That's the way the 2013 Constitution and the uh, subsequent acts and bills that were taken up to Parliament have been engineered and uh, shaped so that once it is uh, de-reserved, and taken into the uh, leasing processes under TLTB, the uh, original landowners have no more say on the extension of the leases, on the mortgaging, the mortgagee sale of the leases, and so on. You have an issue with uh, Bill 17, which is now an act. Is it that the case that the consent is not coming from the landowners I have for an issue with that. mortgagee of that it, land? That's exactly what I was talking about. There's been no consultation. Uh, they just went ahead thinking that only two of them have the brains to be able to work out those rules and legislations uh, without consulting the, uh, the genuine landowners who have inherited the land from their own uh, forebearers. So if you come, come in to government, you will take away that act that, uh, where the consent has been taken away for landowners for things <coughs> like mortgagee on land after the, the person has leased the land. Yes, we will take it away. We will take it away. We will make the land, the trustees of the native land be trustees. And one of the requirements, the requirements for the Native Land Trust Board is to consult, consult with the board, and the board consults with the uh, landowners.